darts walk on girls hit back at spoil sports who banned their jobs. The axed darts walk on girls are fighting back against the PC killjoys who lost them their jobs. And today they reveal they are actually getting even more work, from those who back them over the spoil sport snowflakes. Daniela Alfrey and Charlotte Wood spent years accompanying players to the Oki and loved their glamorous jobs. And they were devastated to be dropped at short notice amid a political correctness storm which also saw Formula One grid girls given the boot. But the models, who say they have still not been given a proper explanation as to why they lost their jobs, are getting more work from people who don't believe the snowflakes should win. Daniela even starts a new job tonight working as a presenter for a live darts online show alongside some top names in the business. The mum of one, 30, who worked for the professional darts corporation for six years, says, the darts was 60% of my income so it was a worry when I lost it as I have a family to support. I put my modeling on the back burner because the darts calendar was so big. But since being dropped from the darts, a lot of model agencies have been ringing saying they are glad to have me back and I've been getting lots of work. In fact since being dropped, I've earned more from commercial modeling than I did in the darts. I've worked for Tanning Brand Isle of Paradise and I have a contract with a lingerie company called Lucy May. And a lot of people in the darts world are against us being banned so we've been working at darts exhibitions and non-televised events. Our calendars are full up until August which means people still want to see us and want walk-on girls at their events. Charlotte, 29, landed a job working at the recent George Groves v Chris Eubank JR fight after organizers upped the numbers of ring girls they used. She says, what has happened has made other people book us. The boxing promoters increased their ring girls from 4 to 6 in protest and I did the fight the other week. So it hasn't affected us as much as it could have. It's made us think that even though people tried to take this job away from us, it's not going to stop us doing what we want to do. As long as I can, I'll be doing this job. Angry Daniela and Charlotte were first dropped from Sky Sports Darts events in January and then told just the day before they were due to work a competition that they wouldn't be wanted for ITV events. To this day, I've not had an explanation why says Daniela. We were told a woman had started at Sky Sports who said we weren't necessary anymore. Whether this was true or not, I still don't know. The PDC were our bosses and they are the ones that broke the news to us but I'm still unclear as to who was actually behind it. Charlotte adds, the fans are really angry and miss seeing us at the darts, they want us to get our jobs back. And the PDC still has dancers at their events who dress far more skimpily than we did. In fact the pair can't believe how much backing they have had from fans, including lots of support from women. Daniela, from Chesterfield, Derbys, says, I didn't realize how popular our role was until we got axed and I'm now spurred on by how the fans feel. It's a minority who don't want us there. There was a petition that reached 50,000 signatures of people wanting us back on the darts. People think they are losing a bit of British culture. Charlotte, of Loughborough, Lakes, adds, Every day we've had messages of support on Twitter and not just from men, a lot of women are really behind us. They are properly on our side. Our jobs have been taken away so how is that empowering women? The models were also horrified to be compared to prostitutes during a TV debate with a feminist. Daniela says, We're being made to feel like we've been doing something terribly wrong, something shameful. One of the feminists said we are like prostitutes. I don't see myself as a vulnerable person, I see myself as a businesswoman who has made a really good career out of modeling. We did Formula One, grid as well as walking the horses off the track in racing. We are heavily involved in sport and now they are taking women out of sport. It's sad for future generations and I think it's the opposite to feminism, taking women's jobs away. Charlotte adds, it's like everyone decided 2018 was the year you couldn't be a glamorous woman anymore. The world's gone mad. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my STC News channel. Goodbye and see you again.